One of the rarest gemstones in the world is in that dirt pile behind me. Pretty cool. Today we're rock hounding at the Benito White Mining Company in Central California. It's the only place in the world where you can find a gemstone called Benito White, which looks like this right here. Small blue crystals on white natural light. And for a small fee, they let you dig around in their tailings pile and keep what you find. Here's how it works. You show up at the mine and they give you a screen and then you head out to the dirt pile. So this dirt pile that I'm talking about is basically just the tailings or the leftover gravel from the actual mine. And every now and then you can find some really nice stuff in here, but mostly we're kind of hunting for chips and smaller pieces. However, there are stories of people finding like $6,000 rocks in this pile of dirt. So what you're gonna do is dig, um, dig out some of this gravel, fill up your screen, what I like to do is move the larger boulders and take the gravel from underneath those since sometimes gemstones get caught under there. Then you take your screen back to your washing station, you give it a little bit of a sift and then you dunk it in the water. Now we're trying to wash off all the dirt from, from the rock so that we can see what we actually have. And there's lots of different rocks that you can find here, mostly serpentine. This is in like this protected serpentine area. That's where the mine is. But um, what you're really looking for are these white pieces of natrolite because inside of those, you're gonna find Benito White. Here's what a really nice specimen looks like right here. You can tell it's surrounded. It's in a bed of white rock. So of course we're looking for the white rocks. And there are other rare crystals you can find here. It's not just Benito White. The other uh, really rare crystal is a black crystal called Neptunite, which also occurs with Benito White and it's a nice thing to collect and find as well. Okay, so you see that little bit of white rock in there? That could be something, I'm gonna keep that. Here's another really nice streak of white. I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay, here's where it gets interesting. Benito White is an ultraviolet gemstone that fluoresces under black light. So at the mine, they actually have a dark room with black lights that you take your screen to, and anything that glows under these dark lights is something you want to take out and keep for later. So anything that fluoresces under black light, you're going to take out and investigate. After you've uh, kind of sifted through your entire screen, taken out different fluorescent minerals, you're going to put those in a little plastic bag and take it out to daylight by the way, if you enjoy this kind of content, feel free to subscribe. I post a long video like every other week and I post a short every other day. So I think the strategy is to find all the rocks with the veins of white natural light running through them, take them home, put them in acid and see what's underneath. So like this thing right here has a small streak of white right there. Um, you can actually take these home and you can burn that stuff away and melt it away with muriatic acid. Muriatic acid is uh, a compound, you can buy it for 10 bucks at the hardware store and it'll melt away certain rocks. I mean, it's already used for, for concrete and industrial uh, purposes, but it can melt away calcite and it can melt away that white naturalite. And once you melt that stuff away, that's where you're gonna find Benito white crystals. Maybe, hopefully. And every now and then you'll get lucky and actually see one of these bright blue gemstones just gleaming up from your screen. You don't even have to take it into the dark room sometimes. You, they're just that obvious. And if you go on something like eBay or um, other gemstone dealing sites, you can see how much this stuff is worth. Collectors will pay top dollar for this stuff um, because it's so rare, because you can only find it in one spot, because you have to come to this dirt pile, to this dark room, and that is the only way basically to find these crystals anymore. Personally, I'm probably not really interested in selling these things. I'm just looking for one really nice specimen for my own personal collection. You can see this one right here has a black Neptunite crystal in it. And this I wanted to show you, this rock right here has some promise, right? I'm gonna, I'm gonna splash it off, get that white off of there, and then see that, that small little blue angle, that could be Benito White. And I won't know until I etch it away with some acid. So you see everything in this white screen right here? This is what I'm taking home. Um, I found like two loose Benito Whites and all of these 
that I'm going to take home and see if there is anything really valuable inside of them. Okay, so now we're going to use that muriatic acid. Here it is, and what we're going to do is just soak these rocks in them. And it actually takes a couple days because the acid sometimes almost forms like a gel around these, around these rocks as it eats away. And you're just going to kind of want to brush away the layers that the acid loosens up and um, just keep repeating that until there is no white natural light left or until you start to see some blue tips of bonita white crystals just peeking out. And if you're not sure that's what you got, you can always use a black light at home to test it out. This one right here I'm really excited about. This one's got some promise. I can see two small tips of bonita white crystals just poking out. Uh, I'm gonna give that mm, maybe like four more days of this acid treatment. But my best find of the entire trip had to be this one right here. Check it out, you can see a really nice blue bonita white crystal just on the edge of that white right there. And I'm not gonna do too much else to this thing because I really like the look of a gemstone on its host rock. Bonita white, pretty cool.